Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Switzerland travel series. Currently we are in Interlaken O station and today we are going to Jungfraujoch which is also known as top of Europe. First we will take train from Interlaken O to Lauterbrunnen. Train runs every 30 minutes and seat reservation is not possible in this train. Jungfraujoch is situated at the height of 3571 meters and it is saddled between two mountains, Jungfrau and Monch. There are three ways to reach Jungfraujoch from Interlaken. In first route, which is more scenic, you take train from Interlaken Oost to Lauterbrunnen, then second train from Lauterbrunnen to Klinschedek, then third and last train from Klinschedek to Jungfraujoch. Total travel time in this route is 2 hours and 6 minutes. In the second route, which is also the fastest route, you have to take train from Interlaken Oost to Grindelwald Terminal. From there, you have to take cable car Eiger Express to Eiger Glacier and then switch to train to Jungfraujoch. Total travel time in this route is 1 hour and 36 minutes. In the third route, you have to take train from Interlaken Oost to Grindelwald. From there, you have to take another train to Klinschedek, then third and last train from Klinschedek to Jungfraujoch. Total travel time in this route is 2 hours and 6 minutes. Cost of all three routes is same. A round trip ticket will cost you around 240 Swiss franc in summers. It will cost around 120 Swiss franc with half fare card and if you have Swiss travel pass then ticket will cost you around 160 Swiss franc. We have decided to take the route 1 while going up and then we will take route 2 while coming back. Now we are reaching Lauterbrunnen and you can see the famous Stobbage Fall in the background. From here, train to Klinschedek is in every 30 minutes and we decided to visit this Stobbage Fall one more time, which is around 15 minutes walk from the train station. If you want to see the complete video of Lauterbrunnen and Stobbage Falls of our previous visit, then link is given in the description box. After an hour, we were back to the station to catch this bright yellow green train, which will take us to Klinschedek. We have Swiss travel pass and we have purchased the tickets for remaining section from Lauterbrunnen station. And along with the ticket, we got the Jungfrau passport, which is kind of a souvenir and has a certificate for visiting Jungfrau York. We recommend to go via this route because of two reasons. First, it takes more time to reach Jungfraujoch and hence your body gets more time to get accustomed with the altitude. And second, you get to see the beautiful view of entire Lauterbrunnen Valley. And now we are reaching the intermediate station Wengen. This car-free village is very famous among tourists. It is populated in summers by hikers and in winters by skiers. Surprisingly, train is almost empty, otherwise it gets very crowded in the summer. We are now reaching Klinschedek, which is situated at 2061 meters height. This was our train and train coming from Grindelwald also ends here. Now we have to switch to another train which will take us to Eiger Glacier Station.
we are now reaching Eiger Glacier Station and we have to switch train one more time. From here, rest of the journey is inside the tunnel. This train stops briefly at Eismere Station, where you can get down and get a look of Eismere Glacier through a large window. Train stops here for 5 minutes and you can take the photos through the windows and board the same train again. There is nothing much to do here. So guys, we have finally reached the Jungfraujoch station. It is the highest train station in Europe. Just outside the train station near coffee bar, there is a place where you can stamp your certificate of visiting Jungfraujoch. Our first stop is Jungfrau Panorama, where you get to see 4 minutes video of Jungfraujoch covering all seasons. Our next stop is Sphinx Observatory. It is the highest point you can visit. And from here, you will get a very good view of Elich Glacier. It is the largest glacier in the Alps with a length of 23 km and is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And as I always suggest, please check the webcam at jungfrau.ch in the morning and if weather is clear, then only plan to come here. Otherwise, you will spend lot of money without any good views. So guys, now we are in Snow Fun Park. Here you can do zipline or snow tubing, but it just got closed due to warning of bad weather. It is very cold outside, so even if you are visiting in peak summers, do bring a good jacket. And there is also a snow trail which starts from here, which takes about 45 minutes round trip. In 2009, Indian cricket legend Kapil Dev played a friendly match with British cricket team here. Now we are entering into the Alpine Sensation Tour. It is a 250 meters corridor which depicts the story of construction of Jungfrau Railways. At the end of corridor is the Ice Palace. You will find lots of ice sculptures here. And at the end of Ice Palace, you are in the outdoor again. It's the place where you can take pictures with Swiss flag for your social media accounts like we did. After that, we went to the main complex and visited the Lind chocolate store and then took the train back to Eiger Glacier Station. And we are now in cable car Eiger Express, which will take us to Grindelwald. This cable car was started in December 2020. And it has reduced the travel time of Jungfrau York by 47 minutes. With just 7 support pillars, it covers the distance of 6.5 km in only 15 minutes. So guys, we have reached Grindelwald and it has started to rain 
and now we will go back to interlaken if you want to see our video of grindelwald where we have covered the mountain first and did first fly a zipline then do check out the link in the description so guys that's it for this video if you find the video helpful then do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos in this series thank you for your time and wish you happy and safe travel